a uh, 2011 Chevy Traverse. Uh, same application for a bunch of Traverses here. Uh, left front and right front are both going to be the same. First things first, your caliper, you're going to want to grab a C-clamp or something to compress the caliper a little bit to make it easier to come off. Next, if you don't have a Milwaukee impact gun, these things are fucking awesome. All right, we're going to go ahead around to the back. You're going to take the whole caliper with the bracket right off. Okay, uh, these up. One on the top, one on the bottom. And we're going to take the whole caliper with the bracket, and we're going to grab a bungee cord here, and we're going to hang it up top here. Okay, the Chevy Traverse here has this stupid fucking screw right in the middle of the fucking rotor. Fucking retarded. I don't know why they put them there. I mean, obviously, it's to hold it there and keep it straight, but it pisses me the fuck off. We're going to go ahead and grab a torque spit and get that off. Okay, that is a T30 torque spit. Go ahead and get that fucking screw out of there. And we're going to pull the rotor off. All right, let's pull this fucking rotor off. There we go. Next, if you don't have one, get one. 34 millimeter socket on the axle nut. Take that off. Next step, two bolts in your strut here. 24 millimeter. Take your nuts off. Now, with the ball part of your hammer here, go ahead and smack your axle back just a little bit. Be sure to hit it right in the middle so you don't fuck any threads up or mushroom the end of the axle. As soon as it doesn't want to go no more, grab your spindle from your strut and wiggle it loose. Two hands would be helpful right now. All right. All right. Now that we have the spindle away from the strut, go ahead on the back side. Pull your axle out as far as you can to access these three bolts. One down here. One right here. And one right here. Okay, I pulled the axle out. Oh, let me show you something here. This here on the back side, this little piece of plastic here, it's like a magnet. Okay, this is what the ABS sensor reads. This up here is your ABS sensor. I have an ABS light on, and this is probably why. The ring is coming loose on it. The bearing shot. We're going to go ahead and pull out this bolt, this bolt, this bolt. Okay. Okay, now that we got these bolts out. Go ahead, grab yourself a big fucking hammer, and you're going to hit the bearing right here, okay? Just give it a couple whacks, it should come flying right out. And it's out. All right, here's the new wheel bearing, hub assembly. We're just going to put it right back in and bolt it right back up the same exact way we took it out. Now that we got the new bearing in, we bolted it right back up the way it came out. We put it right back in. We just tightened up the bolts. All right, we're going to go ahead and make sure our axle is still intact. We're going to put it back through the hole, giving it a twist until it lines up and comes out the front. Okay, came out the front. We're going to go ahead and just, we're going to put the axle nut back on. As far as we can, by hand. We are not ready to tighten that up yet. All right, next we're going to line our spindle back up with our strut. We're going to go ahead, pound the bolts back in, and tighten them down. Now that we got our spindle lined up with our strut, we're going to tap these bolts back in. You don't have to tap them all the way in, just until they get stuck a little. And now when you tighten them up with the nut, the nut should suck them right in. Okay, we got our 24 millimeter socket back on here. We're going to go ahead and tighten these back up. Okay, it is now time to torque your axle nut. You do not want to use an impact gun on this. You will damage the wheel bearing. Over tightening this will damage your wheel bearing. If you don't tighten it enough, it will damage your wheel bearing. So go ahead and get yourself a torque wrench. This is a 2011 Chevy Traverse. 
And the axle nut torque specification is 173 foot-pounds. So we're going to set our fucking impact. Not our impact. We don't want to use a fucking impact. We are going to set our torque wrench to 173 foot-pounds, which it is already set to 173 foot-pounds. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to put this on. You will tighten it until you hear an audible click that sounds like this. When you hear that click, do not tighten it anymore. You are at the manufacturer's specifications, and that is good. Now we are going to throw the rotor back on, making sure that that stupid hole in our rotor lines up with this stupid hole right here, so we can put our T30 torque screw back in. Rotor is on. We're going to put our T30 torque screw back in. Now we will go ahead and put the caliper back on with your 21 millimeter socket. You are now done replacing your wheel bearing. Because you took the caliper off and compressed it, make sure you get in the vehicle and you pump the brakes before you try to drive away. If you try to drive away without pumping the fucking brakes, you're going to step on the pedal, it's going to hit the fucking ground, and you're going to hit a fucking car, your house, your garage, whatever. So, put the fucking thing in park, step on the fucking brake a few times, and you're good to go. Alright, there's another fucking video for you.